For the millions of people who have lost their home insurance and now they're having trouble finding new insurance because their homes are in a so-called high-risk zone for wildfires. It's a situation our NBC4 I team has been following for years and today there are some significant developments that homeowners need to know. Investigative reporter Lolita Lopez joins us now with the very latest. Lolita. Hi, uh, Kathy and Jonathan. New action from the State Department of Insurance is part of the overall plan to make sure homeowners and commercial business owners are left without insurance. And one expert tells us that could mean more discount for the work owners do to protect their properties against wildfires. Tree trimming, brush clearing, among the steps many property owners in California have taken to protect their homes and businesses from wildfires. These mitigation steps must be taken into account by insurance companies writing policies in areas deemed high risk for wildfires, according to a plan by the California Department of Insurance. This week, the department added to that plan, which would increase policy writing in certain distressed areas. Considering that your home is, you know, probably the most important purchase of your entire life, to find out that you can't get it insured is kind of crazy. As the I-Team has been documenting for months, homeowners have found themselves being dropped from their insurance policies for various reasons and forced to turn to the California Fair Plan as their only option, instead of the option of last resort as it was intended, according to the Department of Insurance. The state has now created this first-ever wildfire risk map to show where insurance companies need to increase coverage, including parts of Los Angeles, San Bernardino, and Riverside counties. It represents zip codes where more than 15% of policies are written by the fair plan, as well as neighborhoods where incomes are low, yet insurance premiums are high. And that's where, under the new guidelines, insurers will have to increase the policies they provide. Implementing these changes is expected to happen by the end of the year. Similarly, there is a trailer bill that's being attached to the California budget that the governor is looking to sign, which would actually put part of these plans in effect immediately. Carl Sussman is an insurance agent with decades in the industry and tells us insurance companies will also be allowed to use what's called catastrophe models to determine rates for individual owners so there's no blanket one-size-fits-all cost. It's a good thing because it's going to enable consumers to know if they're in a higher risk area than they thought and they'll also be required, they meaning the insurance industry, to provide steps that the consumer can take to make their home less likely to burn. How are we going to enforce these changes and make sure the insurance companies do what they need to do and homeowners get what they need? Another great point. Uh, it's actually in the regulations, which I don't think I've seen in the past. They're actually going as far as saying what type of documentation needs to be maintained in what format and for how long. What advice do you have for property owners who are having a difficult time finding insurance? It's a very difficult time. The best thing to do right now is keep the policy you have, even if the premium has gone up. And I know that's easier said than done, but the chances are very, very good that if you try and shop around, you're going to find even higher prices than you have right now. But he says the new regulation changes once implemented should help the overall situation. And as we look ahead to this summer and the possible wildfires we were just talking about, remember this. Sussman says following a wildfire, the state can create a one-year moratorium from any cancellation or non-renewals of residential policies in those affected areas. Now, we have links to the information from the state and so much more on our website, NBCLA.com. Go to the Investigations tab. Jonathan? All right,